totally original Spookfest. So spooky. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I almost knocked the microphone over. Welcome back to the Spookfest. You know that weapon what you're holding? Fuck my... Just what? That weapon you're holding looks like it would be the right thing to kill a Kryptonian. What's that? A Kryptonian? Yeah. Well, it's a inhabitant of Krypton. Oh, uh, that's Superman? No, it's Superman's home planet. Well, that's what I was asking, is whether or not that was Superman's lore. Yeah. Was, was that Superman lore? That's a little bit of uh, lesson in Superman lore. He actually came from a different planet. Krypton? Yeah, he's actually an alien. Did you know that? Yeah. I watched the um, Ultimate Edition of Batman vs. Superman. Oh, that movie sucks, doesn't it? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You're like, well, that's what I was going to fucking talk about. Um. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, yo. Yeah, dude. You know how you appreciate <clears throat> Spider-Man 3? Yes. Because it tried to be creative. Yes. That's kind of how I feel about Batman vs. Superman. Zack Snyder was like, I'm going to do my version of the DC story. I'm going to mm -hmm. do my version of the DC characters and Batman and everybody. I have a story I want to tell. I have a vision that I want to realize. And mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to do. Um, the problem was the movie wasn't good. <laughs> oh. I mean, I, I think they make some interesting choices. But have you seen that movie? No. Uh, We're getting into fucking scary territory. Uh, scary Terry? Yeah. Scary Terry Tory. Scary Terry Tory? Scary Terry and Did you Tory. hear that? What, the, the Scary Territory? Yeah. It was like... No. You didn't hear that? Uh-uh. Can you hear the game? No. You can't? Yes, I can. Oh. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. But the movie's not very I need good. to, uh... What I need to do is look up what's actually different. It's, uh, it's like an extra half hour of, uh... <gasps> Of content, um, so is and it, it also like it. I think it edits its, uh, edits around some stuff to make scenes that were dumb and didn't make any sense, and uh, kind of helps them along a little bit. Oh, okay. So potentially like, but there's I think the there's editors cut. Yeah, I think I think there's specific things in the movie that can't be fixed, decisions that were made, and casting decisions. Honestly, Mark Zuckerberg should not have been cast to play. Lex Luthor. Hmm. Just he, didn't make any sense. But should have, uh... Wait, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait so a minute. Mark Zuckerberg, the creator of Facebook. <laughs> plays that was the fucking Lex joke Luthor. I was going to make. I know what you were saying. <laughs> I, I was thinking of the actor, and then I was you know, like, I gonna be like, but should Mark Zuckerberg ever play? It's one of those things, though. I'm not even sure it's the actor's fault. It might be just the direction he was giving the lines he has, because he's just a fucking piece of... Like, I was talking about Jolly Ranchers earlier. That's what made me think about yeah. it in the first place. If people remember what I'm talking about, the Jolly Rancher scene is just fucking weird, and I don't get it. Um, so... Jolly Ranchers, however, are not weird, and I do get them. Oh, yeah. So, here's the deal... Welcome to the Spookfest, everybody. Welcome to the Spookfest. Um, I'm gonna meet the microphone really quickly. I just used my Echo device, and, uh, I didn't want to trigger any of yours at home. Oh, that was considerate so, of you. But I turned off the lights. Um, why don't you put in your, your... My, second my other butt are we double yeah. button yeah we're double button dude this... you, i don't know can you hear me <laughs> no give me a goddamn because <laughs> i can like barely hear you ah uh, yeah i can barely hear you too okay well, something here's... i can hear myself a lot better <laughs> this so here's what we're doing guys we both okay, have on, earphones in <laughs> and we they, can't they don't we have can't a hear each it. other but so if we're gonna talk to you like we're at a construction site. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, hey there. What the fuck? Ah, yeah, that did scare me. <laughs> I fucking told you, dude. I fucking told you. 
I'm tense. That fucking breathing in my fucking ears. That is one very specific fear that I've had. Uh, okay. Being in the dark and hearing like a breathing on the back of my neck. Yeah. You could take out your, your other earphone now. That was it? Well, that was all that I really wanted. I just wanted to illustrate you, you just, why I chose this game for the spook face. You just wanted to bend me up in my brain parts? Yep. Well, because I didn't know whether or not it was immediately obvious. But I wasn't. But you get bent up in my brain parts? No, 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 no. That why I chose this game for the spook face. Oh, I see. This is it, isn't it? What? This is the last... Episode, episode of the spook fest. Yeah, I was. I honestly was kind of hoping that we would get to that part. I wasn't sure whether or not we would. This means that tomorrow's Halloween. Tis of thee. You know, as they say. Of thee? For Halloween. That it's. You, I don't. You wouldn't understand. It's that's a classic Halloween saying. Oh, is it? Tis of thee. This is tis of thee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see. Well, this is my first Halloween ever. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Because you were born in. This is my. This is the first year, I'll I'll be in America. This yep, the first year that you'll be a real boy. Yeah, because I used to be a fake boy in a different country. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yep, he was a puppet. Everybody. I was. I used to. I'm a puppet boy from. We can't say Italy. That's too on the nose. On <laughs> nose. Uh, <laughs> what? Italy. Oh. Puppet. Italian puppet. Uh, okay. No, I don't get it. You don't understand when I say Italian puppet. Nothing specific comes from. Oh my god! I don't like these things a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. The Wendigos. The Wendigos. Um, I don't get it. Interesting. I didn't start a timer. If you had, then saying that would make your nose grow? Pinocchio? Pinocchio. That's an Italian story. It is? Well, it's definitely an, a story about an Italian toy maker. I thought it was a Disney story. <laughs> okay there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Just like they invented Spider-Man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, and that's not his, what I'm talking about. it's you, his home. You, you should you uh, Too late. I'm triggered. You should have said just like how they invented the Jungle Book or something. No, I should have said Spider-Man because that's what gets my... Because everyone knows that they didn't invent Spider-Man. No, 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 but everybody acts like they did. Like, what? like it's his home fucking city. Disney? Yeah. Disney World? Disney. Or yeah. Disneyland? Disney. <laughs> Disney City. Disney's? Disney. Topia. I got some fucking Disney's. <laughs> Disney's. Um. Fuck out of my way. Real quick, though, I wanted to talk about something. Before we get into the jokes or whatever, you know. Yeah. You know, we're and we're like, <laughs> funny jokes or whatever, you know. Whatever stupid shit we say. Whatever dumb childish bullshit we spew. Yeah. I wanted to get, I wanted to get into something. Guess what? We're recording this on the 22nd. Uh-huh. So it's a Thursday. Oh. Don't worry about it, dude. It's... On oh wait, there's a ladder over here. I'm a dumb motherfucker. Oh. On Tuesday, guess what? You I, I I can't guess until Tuesday. No 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 <laughs> no. Guess guess who died on Tuesday? Oh, somebody died on Tuesday. Yep. Somebody that I don't already know about. Yep. Somebody famous. Yep. Um. Mike Didka. Nope. Really? Mike Didka? Steve Didko. What, what is that? I don't even know. <laughs> He's the co-creator of Spider-Man, dude. Oh, Mike Didka? No, not Mike Didka. He's a... Mike Didka's football. a football player. Yeah. No, I don't better know. than a football player. Mm, more gee. important than a football player. <laughs> gee, that's hard. <laughs> What's possibly more important than a professional football player? Uh... Uh, I don't know. Who died? The Amazing Randy. The Amazing Randy died? Yeah, do you know who that is? No. Oh, <laughs> okay. I was, for a second, I was like, oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> um, he was a magician. 
He was 92 years old. Oh, I see. But more important, he's, I would say, like, the most influential magician since Houdini. Like um, in Copperfield? Influenced. He influenced Copperfield. Oh, wow. Um, and Penn and Teller, he's responsible for, like, their entire act and being. Damn. Um... Be, be, because he not only inspired a generation, m many generations, of magicians, he also is responsible for what I would say, like, modern skepticism. Um, he... You keep that in mind, everybody out there that's skeptical right now. No, dude, I'm not even joking. So, in the 60s, I think it was? I don't think it was the 70s. I think it was the 60s! Sexies? Sexies? <laughs> yeah. Um, he, there was this, uh, guy named Yuri Geller that was, uh, he could bend spoons with wow. his mind. Yeah. And he could, like, I think he could also read people's minds. Okay, Tele but more importantly, he could, he could bend silverware. Yeah. And, um, th he, uh, exposed Yuri Geller... Because oh. Yuri Geller was going around telling everyone how he had learned this ancient art of tele telepathy and how, you know, blah, 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 he was cooler than you and, and he was, like, supernatural. That was, his whole, that was his whole act. Let me show you why I'm a superior being. <laughs> yeah. And, Sounds um, like a fun Sunday. And Yuri Geller then, you know, this was on national television, dude. This Ooh. was all around the It was international. All around the world, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you mean around the world, around um, the world. And and it was something that, like, everyone was freaking out about. Because at the time, magic wasn't... You know, you go to a magic show... I would say most sound-minded adults go to a magic show to be entertained, right? Sure. Not because they think magic is real. Sure, yeah. You... I'd say you're probably right about that. That's thanks to James Randi. Because, effectively, he demystified the the mystical. You know? He then would go on those shows, those same shows where they were having Yuri Geller, those same news programs and shit, where they were having this guy who can bend spoons with his mind, and telling people that actually that's something that is just a trick i'm gonna show you exactly how he does it right fucking now oh my God. and it's something that magicians have known about for ever but regular people don't know about and he's trying to trick you into thinking that he has some kind of supernatural powers when he doesn't i see because there's no such thing and you know that was uh, there was like an interview where this is just something that sticks out in my mind there was an interview where he said uh that the only difference between him and the faith healers and the people who, uh, uh, well, maybe not the faith healers, but the people who claim that uh, they're, you know, psychic and yeah, and super supernatural. Uh -huh. uh, I haven't seen that screen much. Is that uh, he is open about the fact that he's a charlatan? I see. Um, oh my god. And it's like that's what I'm saying is that he was based. Really, guy? <laughs> hey, man, you killed him. <laughs> um, he was basically responsible for enlightening everyone. So now, as adults, like you, people go to a magic show because they know it's not real, but they want to be entertained. Sounds like it must have been real popular among certain. He was not. In community. fact, he ruined people's careers. Yikes! And the the magic community was not a super fan of him for yeah. a long period of time because of that. But honestly. Um, the most important thing, so, there's, there's this one chick, I don't remember what her name is, um, but... We'll call her Frances. Uh, maybe I can look it up really quickly. Maybe we can call her Frances. Oh, it was in the 70s. That Yuri Geller thing was in the 70s. Yeah, what I'm saying is that people believed it. On the whole? I'm saying your I mean, average yeah, that's person probably, probably why, believed it. That's probably yeah. That's probably why we know about it now. Yeah, but that—that's what I'm getting at. Is that I'm not saying that there weren't fucking witches. <laughs> <laughs> he invented witches, guys. <laughs> Wait, he invented witches and the age of skepticism. <laughs> yeah. What really... I'm saying is that um, 
You know, you know how we were skeptical before? Do... With witches? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. We were skeptical that people weren't witches. <laughs> <laughs> we, su- we suspected that, that, that people were not normal human beings. That's what I'm saying is we were, we, we believed in that stuff so heavily that it was yeah like yeah 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 you must be a witch we're gonna burn you at the stake you know and it's like are you fucking kidding me dude yeah not that we burn people at the stake in fucking this in the 60s but what i'm saying is that um he uh because of how combative he was there was a lot of coverage of it was you know he had the james randy foundation Mm. and part of that that program is the james randy educational foundation and part of that program was a million dollar bounty that he put up in like the 80s or some shit uh where if you had some kind of superhuman ability you were psychic or you could actually bend spoons with your mind or whatever talk to the dead yeah you were a medium uh and then you could do a test you could pass a test that he dis- devises uh-huh. that isn't unreasonable, like, but definitive. Like based on your claim that you have these abilities. Yeah, exactly. Like if you can actually do this, then you should be able to easily do this. Uh-huh. And if you could do that, then he would give you a million dollars. No one ever won that million dollars. Hmm. Because he knew no one was ever going to win the million dollars. Because he knew that those kind of people usually had so much integrity that they weren't driven by... You know, the, oh the, hell no, dude! Draw Everyone profit. fucking what? All of those people. What? Fucking... You're trying to tell me they did that stuff to make money? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Is no. they were they were like fraudsters. <laughs> Fraudster, isn't that a Muppet? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude, I'm gonna fucking die. Um, again. But the thing is that he um. That got a lot of press coverage. <laughs> his uh, his debunking and stuff like that. I'm sure it did. And it sort of, I think it sort of opened people's eyes. Peter Popoff was a guy who uh, he was a faith healer. Is that he would he would fuck? There was literally health right there. Was his last name? How do you spell his last name? P O P O F F. Popoff. Yep. Wow. Um. Peter Popoff sounds like the name of a TikTok star. And, uh, uh, he... Peter Popoff? Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm Peter Popoff, and I'm, we're popping off tonight. <laughs> exactly. And I bring the pop off to you. Um, he fucking, uh, he would get a crowd of people, you'd pay to go see him, and then he would heal you he would cure your diseases so old grandma here's got cancer and she pays you know twenty dollars or whatever to see this show twenty dollars probably more like fifty dollars to see this show so that peter popoff can cure her cancer right only one little problem peter popoff can't cure cancer and so which makes that a wildly dangerous claim yeah and so what was happening was uh no one he was raking in like four million dollars a year Jeez Louise, yeah man. doing this being a good liar huh yeah how valuable is that and uh and so what james randy did was investigated it and figured out that what he was doing was he was having people um or uh fill out they, they would get these cards when they came into the building where they would fill out some information about themselves what their name was where they were from where they hailed from uh, <laughs> what, you know, what they prayed for. Yeah. Stuff like that. So then you get old grandma who's got cancer. And, uh, and Peter Popoff has an earpiece. And Peter Popoff's wife is feeding him information. She goes, old lady in row seven seat J or, or row J uh-huh. seat seven or whatever. Uh-huh. Uh, her, this is her name. I bet they had, like, code names for, like, people with cancer. And- yeah, this is her name. This is where she comes from. She's got cancer, and she wants you to heal him. Heal her. So then he would be like, he would randomly choose her from the audience. Wow. And be like, oh, God is telling me 
Your name is Georgia. Oh, oh, yes, oh, it yes. is me, sir. And God has told me that you hail from Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. yes, I do. Oh, I love you. I love Georgia. You must be the the pride of Georgia. God has also told me that you have cancers, don't you? Yes, I do. And you would love God to heal that cancer. Yes, I would. And then he would walk over to her, do some freaky hand shit, and then he'd be like, And God has cured your cancer! And then three weeks later, she'd die from cancer. Interesting. But... And, and it's like... The most interesting part... You're like, but... How do you know she didn't, you know... How do you know she didn't get, get cancer again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I was gonna say the most interesting part is that this, he kept making money. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because people were so convinced that he was legit for some reason because they were in their own heads about it, you know? Yeah. Um, and you know you know why I'm not scared of, like, the dark or monsters or ghosts or anything like that? Uh, because you're scared of other things. Because of James Randi. Because well, I know those things don't exist. Maybe I need to fucking pay more attention to James <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying is, like, when I go to sleep, you guys don't know the... <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. What are you freaking out about? There's nothing to be scared of. Remember what James Randi said. Oh, ah! <laughs> James oh. Randi was a liar. <laughs> uh, fuck my asshole. Damn, dude. But the thing is that um. Now you gotta get fucked in the asshole. <laughs> he uh uh. I when I you guys don't know this, but when I go to sleep, there can't be any fucking lights in my room, or it bothers me because. It keeps me from getting to sleep. That's why I can't sleep in his room, because I'm the light of his life. Yeah. He... You have a nightlight, don't you? No, not anymore. <laughs> you did. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were also, like, you know... Well, okay, first of you all... You get scared from, the like, the ghosts and the night light stories I, and... Uh, yes, but the nightlight I had in my last room was there when I moved in, and I liked it because it made a planet on the ceiling. Did you keep it? No. Why not, dude? Because it didn't belong to did me. Did you steal that shit? <laughs> no, dude, I did not commit theft. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> oh. But the other thing is, mm, you fucker. The other thing is that, mm, you fucker. Uh, he, uh, oh, God, these are homing. <laughs> oh, no. You just scared Nick into Russian. <laughs> oh, shit, they're coming for me. Where do I go? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Um, but the uh, uh, but this chick, he um, she was a medium, and she could. No way. <laughs> and she could uh uh talk to people from beyond the grave, you know, like you do. Oh my god, really. Shit my ass, dude. Really? He's not even facing me! Oh shit. Well, he's just a cloud of red now. There was supposed to be health over there. You didn't take it already? Maybe I did. Um. Nope, I didn't. So, uh, this chick, she was a medium. She went on, like, it was like Oprah or some shit. She went on some big TV show. And, uh, there was a, a family, like a, a husband and wife, that their daughter went missing. I think it was their daughter. Maybe it was their son. But their child had gone missing. Mm, I don't and like, I don't like where this is going. They asked her where, if she could, like, sense, maybe tell them something about what is going on with their missing child. And she did her little dumb fucking voodoo magic thing and then said, oh no, oh no, I, I contacted them. Oh, that makes me sick. Dude. That means that they're no longer with us. They're in the beyond. They died. Sounds like an absolute... Absolute... Bitch! Destroy! Or absolutely destroying 
this this family, right? Yeah. And then they they found the kid and they were alive. Ugh. Imagine if they had, I don't know, called off the search because some dumb motherfucker told them that no use in looking because uh, they're dead. Kid's dead. Yeah, that kid would have actually been dead. Um, Maybe that's what she's fucking hoping for. <laughs> right? Uh, and so it's like, but that's the thing is that James Randi was like, you know, it's kind of like, you know what a scam baiter is? A scam baiter? Yeah. Somebody who uh, intentionally, like, lures a scammer in and then proves that they are a scammer and not a truth teller? Yeah, and, and people that try to, like, um, you know, they'll, like, uh, uh, like Jim Browning and stuff that'll try to mm. fraud the fraudsters. Sure. You know? That's what James Randi was, basically. And he, I think, accomplished a lot on that front. And also at the same time, did a lot for, like, just the way we think about the world. Mm -hmm. Because you always have to be skeptical about things. And you can't just believe what everybody tells you. Sure. But it's hard to do when you can't prove that they are actually lying also, to you. Also, when these people are preying on intense emotions and yeah. vulnerable people. Yeah, when they're at their weakest. Yeah. Um, And so it's kind of like, you know, the man was... The man was a legend. Man was the man. It sounds yeah. like. Yeah, and um, and so it sucks because it's like you know, 2020 Got claims a another fuck one. Fuck another one. Yeah. Um, having said that, you can go listen to the beautiful tunage of Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. I don't think he was. I don't think he believed in heaven or hell. All right. Well. So. I didn't say he was in heaven or hell. <laughs> um. But, uh, but yeah, so I, he's, he's been a pretty big influence on me, big, pretty big influence on a lot of people. Yeah, Maybe if you didn't know who James Randi was, you'll watch this and he can be a pretty big influence on you. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to bring that up because I, I didn't even know about it, uh, until yesterday, the day after, Yeah. because I didn't see anything about it. And then I saw, it, of all the fucking places, like I opened up when Eddie Van Halen died, uh, I'm not saying anything about Eddie Van Halen here, by the way. Like, Eddie Van Halen is great. I'm not going to say, like, you know, okay, yeah, he had that rivalry with Randy Rhodes, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, Eddie Van Halen, when he died, I opened up Twitter that day, and it was like all of the fucking things on Twitter were talking about Eddie Van Halen. I didn't figure out about, uh, about it until I was scrolling through Twitter and then randomly saw a uh, a captain um disillusion tweet mm. that, that was like talking about uh how he met the amazing randy but it was all in the past tense oh uh, yeah and i was like no mm -hmm. you don't no 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 like what the fuck and then i had to look it up and figure out and it's like that's what i'm saying is i not a whole lot of people are talking about it so um but anyways Oh, let us know in the comments down what below. You they do? If you know who James Randi is, or the amazing Randy, if he did anything for you, and uh, not not in a weird way, <laughs> if he ever if he had an influence on your life, and um and uh, if you don't know who that is, uh, look him up. And next time on Totally Original Let's Play. Uh, it's not going to be the spook fest, so um, we're going to return to Laugh for Dad, I believe. Hell yes. Um, and then uh, we will also be playing something else in the meantime, honestly, before the next-gen consoles come out, because once those come out, we'll probably be playing like something on that. So, um, And then we have some plans in the works. So... Uh, just keep an eye out. We're scheming. Yeah. And, uh, and so then, bye. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Sweet, <laughs> <laughs>